that is where I come from. So you know I'm not a rebel. I do got to cover it. Amen? Amen. Amen. I ain't no loose goose up in here. Up in here. And I thank God. I thank God for my cousin, Apostle Noor, for the invitation. I thank God for her. And I thank God for uh, Apostle Terry and her husband, Apostle Timothy, right? I got it right. Amen. Amen. I've been watching a little bit on Facebook because she be sending me the invites. Amen. So I thank God. I thank God for you, you, and you, and you. Anybody that I'm missing, of course, I give honor to my husband. Amen. My sweetheart. My Boaz, my covering. God bless you, Stacy. And I thank God for him being here with me today. I thank God for my mom, my aunt, my friend of 28 years. Amen. It's good when you can say someone has been a genuine friend for 28 years. Evangelist Janita Trustclair. Her and I go way back. Amen. Met her when I was pregnant with my second child, my daughter, Christina. I was about two months pregnant when I met her. Um, we wound up going to the same church, moved in the same development, and it's just been on ever since. Amen. Amen. We raised our children together. We hung out together. We ate at one another's houses together. Back there in Pennsylvania, and then the Lord sent her to Virginia, and I cried. She didn't know I cried when you left me, girl. Oh. Amen. I cried some kind of terror. I was like, God, why? Why? <laughs> Through my little tantrum, but I thank God. Because miles don't take away from a genuine friendship. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And we Amen. just keep it going. Yes, and I love you. Oh, I do. I do. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And now that all of the formalities are out of the way, and I didn't miss anybody because I said you, you, and you, right? Yeah. Amen. We're going to get right to the word. Amen. 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 And if you can stand for the reading of the word, please, if you just don't mind. If you can. Amen. Going to the book of James, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. And I'm going to read it, and then we can sit down. James, a servant of God, and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes, which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, Driven with the wind and toss. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. And verse 8, which is my theme scripture. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. And for a topic, the topic that the Lord gave me is mind madness. For a subtitle, because this is a spiritual warfare conference, we are warring for our minds. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I come before you right now. God, I come humbly. Your vessel. I submit myself to you, Lord Jesus. And Father God, I ask that I might decrease, Lord. That you will increase, Father. And that I will only speak the words that you would place in my heart, God. Father, send the anointing, God, that breaks yokes, my Father. Lord, send the anointing that will deliver, set free, oh God, and save and keep and make us a whole mind. Father God, have your way, oh God, because it is not by might nor power, but Lord God, it is by your Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way, oh God. Do what you do best, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way. And amen. And amen. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Spiritual warfare 
is a battle that starts in the mind. Amen? Amen. 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 The battle first has got to be won in your mind. Why does James say that a double-minded man is simply unstable in all his ways? He didn't say some of your ways. He said if you are double-minded, it makes you unstable in everything and anything that you might set out to do. To be double-minded, to be of two minds, to be dipsy, to be wishy-washy, to be schizo, to be split personality, to not know who you are. That's double-minded. Amen? But I am here standing today because... I am going to show you how to be of sound mind. Amen? Amen? So we can win in this battle. Amen. Some people are here today, but going tomorrow. You're in today, but then you're out tomorrow. You believe what the Lord says today, but then tomorrow, you don't know what to believe. You believe that God is who that he says he is when you are up in here. But then when you leave out of these...